When we think about protective equipment, we can also design sustainable solutions. Think about raw materials, for instance. You can use recycled content or reduce the material usage. Or we can develop lightweight products that uh, ensure the same functionality. Regarding materials, we must choose wisely. Responsible sourcing it will be key. And also finding local suppliers to decrease transportation emissions. If we think about natural rubber latex, we have now in place systems that ensure the certification of these materials and will allow us to avoid the fluorestation. When we think about reducing emissions in our manufacturing sites, we must zoom in in the manufacturing process. Make it as efficient as possible. Understand the energy consumptions and try to make the processes as efficient as possible. We can choose also renewable sources for energy, like hydro or solar panels. Initiatives like LED lighting can create an impact because, in fact, all of the initiatives will count when we talk about emissions and footprint. Thinking about water consumption will also be important. Monitor and measure where are the biggest impactful areas. And when there are waste from the manufacturing sites, make sure you reduce the waste in an efficient way and dispose the waste and even have initiatives to divert it from landfill. We can always think about initiatives that can use these wastes and create value in Second Life products. Think about packaging. It's another initiative so important uh, when we talk about waste, including recycled content, biodegradable materials, or lightweight packaging will make the difference. At the end of our manufacturing processes, when we have our final products, we can also think about the transportation to the end users or our customers. Choose environmental friendly transportation, biofuels, electric cars might reduce the carbon footprint um, of our transportation. If you think about the usage phase, we can educate our users to use the PPE in an efficient way. And also, we can design for reuse and make sure the durability and the high performance is there. And therefore, its footprint will definitely uh, diminish. When you choose a PPE supplier, you should look not only for the product, but a broader vision. Think about all the programs and initiatives that the supplier is taking, all the certifications, or uh, programs like Zero Waste to Landfill, investing on solar panels, how they are communicating and substantiation their claims. It's truly important because it shows transparency and commitment. So all these initiatives will create a holistic view about what, what will contribute and impact our planet in a whole. When we think about protective equipment, safety is not negotiable. When you choose a PPE uh, equipment, please look at a broader picture, not only the, the product itself. Mm -hmm.